So you keep getting rocked up in your rubber guard. It's like they're rocking you flat on your back. Go ahead. Go. Keep getting rocked up. And it's like, how do I stop him? I'm having so much trouble with rubber guard. I keep getting rocked and I'm having to do these other different things, right? So let's talk about New York or rubber guard for a minute. I'm seeing a lot of guys like trying this stuff. And for one, they're like getting here or they're like this and they're like, and they're, they're kind of like on their shoulders and stuff. Here's the thing, guys. He's going to curl his arm and he's going to push and rock me flat on my back. Now I have stuff that I can do from here. But this is where a lot of people are having trouble with their rubber guard. They're not understanding what's actually happening. This foot, I'm pushing on the hip and I'm scooting my butt away. And I'm like bringing all of my weight into this shoulder here. And then I'm hanging over his head. I'm kind of like pushing my knee like to like keep his head down. Where the head goes, the body follows. A lot of people get here and their knees up. That's allowing them, even when they're here, look, that's allowing them to move their head and get into this position. So what I like doing is we scoop and I kind of put a little bit of pressure. I'm pinching here, boom, heavy here. And now I'm putting that pressure on their head. So if he's trying to look up, I don't want him to look up. I just barred that in there. I don't want this man looking up. So when he tries to curl this arm, I'm pushing on the hip. That's kind of negating his strong curl. Then I'm pushing on the head and we're here. So now I can start going flying kung fu, start attacking like wrist. If he builds, I can start lacing, hitting the two things. Hey, we got our submission there, sitting down, got our two things. We got all these different submissions from our rubber guard that just builds off of making sure that I'm pulling his head away from his hips with the bite when I bring him down and I'm inside here and I'm just kind of clamping that into me. You hear it explained a lot like go belly down, belly down. It's not wrong because that's, that's what we're doing. But it's more about getting heavy in the right places. I'm scooting my butt away. I'm not underneath him. The more underneath him I am, that means the more control of his head he has. Look, look how easy it is for him to rock me out. Right? But if I just scoot back just a little bit and get higher up on his head, now rock me. Go ahead, rock me. Guys, I'm not even doing anything. You see how hard that is? Now all the weight's going to this hand. Now I can start attacking. I can hit my seamless triangles. I can hit my flying kung fu's. I can get inside here, grab the foot. I can I can start like yeeting this guy. Yeah, start doing all of this other stuff. I can get into my carnings. Boom, start getting into all this different stuff. The second part of this, people don't talk about a whole lot. They just see the hand come through and they're here. Some people are even grabbing. It's like, oh, I wouldn't recommend grabbing. You can, but I like sticking the bar in there. The bar kind of gives me a little bit more. But you see his knee? It's like this, you see this knee, that foot? This is called New York rubber guard, right? I'm up, I'm putting, I, the first problem that I see with people that don't train with us or train with Tent Planet is like, they have the foot down here and they're trying to pinch and they're like holding on to the, the arm here or the arm here. And it's like, if even if I have the arm, this is good for me to have the arm. It's bad for my heel to just kind of be down here. It's not bad, but it, it's just not, they're gonna rock me flat. I have to do other things, right? But if I stick it right in this hole, or right in that pit there, and now I take this knee and I start coming to the back of his head. When I collect here, I'm not only pinching my body to this arm to keep him here, I'm keeping his head down. Where the head goes, the body follows. Get your head up. Go ahead, rock me flat. Look guys, it's not how strong he is here. It's like, He's not getting up from here. Look, now he can because my leg isn't trapping the arm anymore. But if I trap the arm and just go here, get up. Start right, start fine. Go, get up. There's my rubber guard without even doing the rubber part yet. Right? So, in the hole, now we're using our leg and our body to keep his head down. I don't want to build. So even if I don't have his arm and we're here, 
I'm scooting my butt back and I'm keeping his head down. Now my foot is negating the arm. So when he starts curling this arm and trying to rock me, a good push here negates that. So go. Now go ahead, get your head up. This is how we're staying in the position, guys. And that was one of the things that I couldn't figure out, especially as a lot person, 135 pounds. People kept just going, Ooh, and then I was like having to hip out and like try to hit triangles because I didn't understand like the seamless transitions. I didn't understand how to hit all that stuff yet. So I was just having over and over and over. I'm getting here and I'm like, I got it. And then he's rocking me and now I'm flat on my back and I'm having to do other stuff. When all I had to do was just scoot my butt away a little, bring us in, try the head down. Yeah, there's your quick tutorial on how to fix your rubber guard, I guess.